Welcome to another edition of the Fearless Football Forecast. I'm your host, Ronnie Woodward, joined by Tony Castleberry and Jim Gentry. In our little pregame uh, meeting here, we made a vow to make this week better than last week. I don't know about y'all, but I'm dialed in, ready to do work. What about y'all? Yeah, I think last week was kind of our trial run. The first one of the season is always, you know, there's always some ups and downs. feel like we're a little bit more dialed in this time around. Should flow nicely. I feel like uh, I'm up for it and Tony's up for it. <laughs> All right. Ronnie, I'm looking at you. Let's we'll see what happens. All right. Well, Do it, host. Ready, ready to step my game up. Um, Tony, started off with a big 4A matchup, a weird matchup because they're in the same conference. Yeah. But it's a non-conference game, New Bern, J. Trose. Yeah, even though it is non-conference, these teams have a long history. They've been playing each other for years. Um, and it shapes up to be a really good game. As we were talking beforehand, if, if you had asked me last week about this game, I would have said that New Bern would have rolled over Rose. But this week, I mean, I, I think it's up for grabs. I think yeah. it's going to be really close. I think I think Rose is going to enjoy the home crowd. All right, Jim, next one, an uh, in-county matchup here, North Pitt and D.H. Conley. Yeah, both teams off to really good starts, both 2-1. and one. North Pitt's defense is playing really well right now. Conley's yeah. offense is really clicking. Should yeah. be an interesting matchup this Yeah, that's, this. No that's doubt. A, I think one of the most interesting matchups that we have is, yeah. is that game because of what you just said. Um, another rivalry here, Tony, Aiden Grifton and Farmville Central. Yeah, one of the most bitter rivalries in this <laughs> county. Um, these teams, uh, we say it every year, there is no love lost at all between these teams. It's usually a barn burner. Um, you know, these kids take out a lot of these frustrations from talking junk to each other all during the week. Yep. They get out there on Friday night and really go after it should be the same way at Farmville this week. Agree. Um, Jim, last one here. South Central travels to Northern Nash. Yeah, the, the, uh, the uh, bounce back game after a tough loss yeah. to Rose. South Central got off to a great start with those two early wins. Now got to go on the road. It's not that bad of a road trip, but uh, they really need a win, uh, I think, in this game just to kind of get that, uh, shake off those Rose Blues off of them. Yeah, that's an interesting matchup as well. All right, well, there's the preview. Now we'll get our, our predictions on here. Tony, start us off with a New Bern Rose game. I'm going to pick Rose. Um, you know, last week kind of kind of turned my way of thinking around on the Rampits a little bit. I think that Todd Light might be getting that thing going in the right direction there. Um, a good win for them last week. I look for them to keep it going this week against New Bern. All right, Jim, do you agree? Yeah, actually, I do. I think uh, Rose snaps that skid against New Bern. I, I, again, I probably would agree with Tony and say that I would have picked New Bern a week ago. But after seeing what Havelock did against New Bern and what Rose did against uh, um, Havelock, I think uh, uh, Rose put up a better was a better matchup for them. Yeah. So I think Rose playing at home, I think you give them the edge. Of course, they live and die by that big play. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're going to need one of those. It's a little harder to get one of those against New Bern than it is against South Central. Some of those teams they played, but I think Rose does it this week. All right, I hate to, to go against y'all and against Don't the, the Rampants, but <laughs> I'm going to go with New Bern. The thing that stands out to me is New Bern beat Hillside from Durham early in the year, and you kind of touched on it, Jim. They've played better teams up to this point. Yeah. Um, Rose has beat up on a couple 3A teams. The, the New Bern win over Hillside stands out to me. That's the deciding factor. I'm going with the Bears in a, a close game. Um, next one, Tony, North Pitt and D.H. Conley. Yeah, this is an interesting matchup because, as Jim said, North Pitt's defense, which has been really good, particularly the last two weeks, going up against a Conley offense that's putting up some sick numbers right now. Um, I'm going to go home field advantage and pick Conley, but I think it's going to be close because North Pitt's defense looks like it's legit. Yeah. Can maybe not stop, but at least contain that offense from Conley a little bit. I think it'll be a close game, but I think the Vikings get the win. All right, Jim. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with Conley in this one as well. They need to... Uh, Make sure North Pitt doesn't break off any big plays. That's, that's yeah. what's hurt them in, in, uh, so far this season. But uh, I think that offense is going to be a little too much, and they'll get the, uh, the better of North Pitt's defense this week. Of course, I picked against North Pitt last week. Uh, and me too. Sure we, all three of us were wrong. <laughs> right. So um, uh, maybe they'll use that as inspiration again. Uh, but I think Conley's offense will be a little too much. For them. True. All right, I want to continue a trend. I'm going to go with a little upset. I'm going to go with the Panthers because of that defense. They say offense kind of sells tickets, defense wins championships. I like what North Pitt did last week against Aiden Grifton. They're kind of a grinded out rushing team. Totally. Conley's kind of the same way. And North Pitt kind of stuck it to them. I was impressed with North Pitt last week. For sure. Um, so I'm going to ride that train, and I'm going with the Panthers in the, in the upset. Um, Tony, next one, Aiden Grifton and Farmville Central. I think we got a, an idea of just how much Aiden Grifton is missing Kareem Gent last week. Yeah. I think that had a lot to do, uh, along with North Pitt's defense, deserves a lot of credit there. But I think Gent is, was maybe more important to that offense than we thought the, that he was. Um, I thought Quan Green would step in and, and just, you know, they wouldn't miss a beat. They obviously did. Only yeah. scored eight points last week. 
that's tough, but I think they bounce back. Farmville Central is just really struggling right now. Don't have a lot of guys um, giving up a lot of points. I think AG gets back on track. All right, Jim. I, I agree. I'm going to pick uh, Aiden Griffin this one to bounce back. Uh, Again, I, I agree with Tony as far as the numbers game. I think uh, the way Aiden Grifton likes to just beat on teams and beat yep. on you and beat on you, it gets to uh, you know, wears teams down. And I think Farmville's numbers are going to uh, be affected by that. And I think in the second half, Aiden Grifton pulls away with an easy win. All right, I hate to, to pile on Farmville here, but I agree. Um, Aiden Grifton is too strong up front, as y'all touched on. I, right. think, I think they get a win. And, and move on. Last one, Tony, South Central and Northern Nash. Um, you know, a road test for uh, South Central's team and, and their new coach, Tim Carter, as Jim pointed to, going on the road, but not too bad of a road trip. Northern Nash, looking at their numbers, they don't look very strong. I think South Central gets back on track, gets a win. Okay, Jim? Yep, I'm going to go with South Central here also. I think uh, the comeback big, uh, that 41-20 uh, loss to Rose, I think is a, maybe a little misleading because of those big plays. Yeah. I yeah. don't think South Central has those problems this Friday. They think they fix those problems and uh, come away with the road win. I know I've never seen Northern Nash and don't know a whole lot about them, but yeah, I mean, I have to agree. Just looking at the pure numbers and records, I think South Central's a, a better team. They kind of bounce back and get that win. Um, so there's the games, there's the rundown. Check Reflector.com or Saturday's paper to see how we did, and we'll see you next week.